Hello YouTube, it's Krosama. And here I have for you today is the real grade Sazabi. Now this is definitely one of my top favorite kits of the year thus far, and I'm very happy to go ahead and do a pose video. Um, one thing I will go ahead and mention is that although this thing is just incredibly posable, it's pretty difficult to put it on the stand piece that comes with the kit. So there's a little attachment like all real grades have that just generally go on, on the underside of the kit. And the connection point is just fairly weak. So I'll do my best to go ahead and pose it on uh, a stand a little bit later on. But ultimately, um, I like this kit more on the ground uh, than being on a stand. Unless you just go ahead and, you know, kind of get um, uh, like one of the regular Bandai stands and use one of those connection points instead. But ultimately, this kit is still going to be amazing whether it's going to be in the air or it's going to be on the ground. So let's go ahead and start taking a look at a few poses. Okay, and here is the first pose. So I went with something that's a little more stylish and nothing that's too flashy. Uh, I generally do like very, very uh, over the top kind of dynamic poses. Uh, but this is something I would say is like if you do have a stand and you, you know, maybe are a little bit conserved of space, this might be a little bit something more your type. Uh, for me, this definitely is because I don't have much space left in my overall collection. But I do really enjoy this pose. It looks really cool. It's just something that is kind of like him flying, you know, more to the side and, and maybe like just getting out of um, some maybe some range of attacks or just pretty much like posing on his uh, on his opponent. But other than that, I do like this pose. I think it's pretty cool. And if you want the funnels uh, to be flying out and about, you can definitely get. Uh, like a little I think it's like a two millimeter uh, plastic tube and you can definitely utilize that but I went and just stuck with this with the uh, funnels intact so without further ado let's go ahead and move on to the next pose And here is the second pose. So I went with something that uh, basically utilizes the beam saber because I love that. I just I love the beam axe, the beam saber. The whole thing just looks super super cool. Uh, the colors are very very vibrant. Uh, ultimately, I just I just love anything that has swords or beam sabers because uh, me personally, when it comes to a lot of like different mechs, I kind of different you know generally gravitate to the melee oriented suits uh but you know this one definitely is a more mid uh just pretty much more of a mid-range mobile suit altogether uh but you know in the case that it does not have all the funnels or it does not have any long range of uh, you know beam rifles and all that it's gonna have to rely on something else so either it's gonna be his fists or these nice little beam uh weapons that it's either tucked into the sleeves of the mobile suit or the one that's tucked right behind the shield so i went ahead and utilized the one that's uh tucked right behind the shield and i just think it's really cool one of my favorite like kind of poses uh and even though i don't ever see this being a mobile suit that would be um you know built and utilized uh in a gravity or in a in an atmosphere I definitely would see this uh, being a you know primary uh, space mobile suit. I think that's the only way that this uh, suit can operate, uh, just due to the sheer size of the bulk and the fin funnels as well. Because uh, I don't think they really have directional uh, thrusters. I think it's just one individual thruster. So this thing would definitely not uh, be utilized to its full capabilities uh, in an atmosphere. But nonetheless, uh, if it was like maybe like on the moon or something like that, uh, definitely I could see it just you know, kind of dashing towards the new Gundam and just destroying and laying waste to everything in this path. But ultimately, I think it's really cool. It's one of my favorite kind of like poses when it comes to the Sazabi. Um, just ultimately because it's a very, very big bulky suit and the real grade uh, basically exploits the, um, the gimmicks that it has as well as the unique frame. So that's pretty much, uh, you know, the reason I went ahead and chose this. So let's go and move on to the third and final pose.
Okay, and here is the third and final pose. Uh, so I want to go ahead and showcase the, uh, the little funnels a little bit more and just have all the little gimmicks, uh, like the little panels that open up on the kit itself. I want to go ahead and showcase all that as well. Uh, I think it looks really, really, really dope. And I might actually get uh, an extra stand. Like once I can, I completely paint this kit up and uh, put it on the shelf, then I'll go ahead and I'll get a, a special stand for it. And I'm gonna have something along the lines of this. Now the base that I'm using, well I'm using two different bases, but the one that's actually supporting the funnels is a figurized standard base. Now these are like the figurized uh, effect stands. So they come with multiple different effect parts, usually like uh, the explosive stuff, the debris, or it might come with like the uh, uh, like energy slashing effects. Uh, but ultimately they're really cool and they come with the, like these little branches right here, as you can see. Uh, so you can go ahead and put the little effect parts on there or you know do whatever you you know you ultimately wish with them. So uh, this pose, I just want to go ahead and have like a little firing pose, but also utilizing the beam axe as well. Uh, having all the panels open is definitely a pl uh, plus because I love that little gimmick of this kit, much like the, uh, the Master Grade overall. Um, and yeah, I think this thing is super, super cool. It can hold its weapon up, it can hold the shield up, no problem whatsoever. And uh, the joints are very, very tight. So I, I generally am not gonna see this. If, if I left it like this, I wouldn't see it drooping down over time or at least not in any kind of immediate time but yeah this uh, these three were my favorite poses or at least the poses i really thought up uh, on the spot and uh, i definitely encourage y'all to go ahead and test out the different limitations of the the posing uh, that this kid can actually do uh, if you can you know definitely send it to me via twitter or you can uh, you know at me on instagram uh, but i definitely like to go ahead and see what kind of poses you put your uh Sazabi into but that's it for me guys i uh, definitely appreciate y'all wa uh, for watching if you do always enjoy these videos you know definitely leave a like leave a comment in the comment section and as always just thank y'all for subscribing and thank y'all for being a part of the channel uh but i'll be going ahead and i'll see y'all in the next review pose video and or unboxing so i'll see y'all guys later bye bye